Hey everybody, welcome back to Eldorado E4 Multiplayer featuring myself, Northern Lion, as well as Quill, Aruba, and Mathis. Say hello. Hi. Hello. Hey there. All right, let's get a move on here. Sure. Oh, I didn't mean to sound so pushy. No, I feel Whatever. bad. Whatever. I think this is the this is the one. Excuse me, my voice just caught. You um, all right there? Yeah. Yeah, I just <laughs> got a, something in the back of my throat. Uh, Ninety-four percent. I think we're gonna get the Reformation this uh, this video. Cool. It's gonna happen. Right after. I don't care what the infidels do. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I just converted a province, or I've started converting a province for the first time in sixty years. The Reformation's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering about that. You normally seem, in the past, you've embraced other religions. Are you going to change from Catholic? I, it depends on if I'm in a difficult spot and the game tries to make that harder. If I'm in, like, a normal spot, I should be fine. A defensible position, if you will. Well, I think historically, your whole region, you got the Swedish and the Danish who usually, what, embrace Protestant? Or, in the I game at least, know. in the game at least they do. Very often. Yeah. Norway normally seems, stays Catholic, I think. But Sweden and Denmark do. What is this uh, Sweden and Denmark? I've never heard of them. Yeah. Actually, it's... they do exist. I, I mean, Sweden does. I know that. Sweden <laughs> is uh, in uh, the Mediterranean. Yeah, Denmark, oh, yeah, I knew, I knew Den that. Denmark is down in uh, where Brunei normally would be. Oh, wow. Well, Holland is like all of south, like the southern yeah. tip of Africa. They're worth a lot too, like they're high in the score. Which is why I'm thinking, I'm going to go religious and mostly head south. Well yeah, all those provinces are normally really crappy, but they're all five, four and five base tags. Yeah. Wow. Cool. No offense to our South African viewer base, of course. But within the context of the game. Within the context of the game, there's low value provinces. provinces. I say nothing. <laughs> You've caused enough trouble. Exactly. <laughs> you guys yell at me all the time. Well, well time to just build a thousand buildings again. That's okay. Could be worse. Have you fixed your overextension? Oh, yeah, it's like 50%. Oh, that's fine. You're fine. But, um... I can't get the other, I think it's 48 actually, I can't get the other 48 down without doing another War of Conquest, which is tricky because of the coalition. Where aren't you connected? Uh, I'm not quite connected. Oh, there. Yeah, this one little like island. I thought the coastal province in Dorpat would be able to be done, but sadly no. So I'm going to go to war with Liege and try to take... Uh, their most northwestern province. You could probably sell that land. The AI would buy it from you. You can't sell provinces you don't have cord, though, can you? Hmm. Um, I think you can. I'll, I'll check here. Sell province. Sure. Yeah, yeah, you can. I can sell it for 16 ducats per province. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's never about money. It's like, if you're worried about the overextension, but yeah. if you're within a reasonable place, like if you can handle it, and you're planning on connecting it shortly, then you don't need to worry about it. Like That's if you're going for Puskov or yeah, I'm gonna, Thuringia. Yeah, I'm going to take Thuringia is in the coalition, unfortunately. Right. But, but uh, yeah, I think Puskov, I can probably probably snag that off Liege. They don't have very strong allies. Yao and Bamanis, who plays an interesting role in every... Uh, <laughs> every ep every series we do apparently, as they should. <laughs> she over there, Mattis. Peanut M and M's. Peanut butter M and M's. Oh snap! I was totally wrong. Reformation. I don't really like peanut M and M's. Ninety six percent. That's all I care yeah. about. I just need the Reformation right now. Does it auto trigger at a hundred, or is there a chance beforehand? It's a mean time to happen that requires a hundred, I think, and so no. it's very very likely as soon as it hits a hundred that like every month there's a chance it'll start. And then the same thing happens at 200%, because, you know, you can have 200% progress towards something. That's just paradox math. Right. <laughs> it's paradox <laughs> math, this blizzard time, you know. Everybody has their own units of measurement. Valve time. Valve time. 
need like <sighs> special quantum mathematics to start figuring that out. <laughs> There's also what, what are the uh, opposite? Northern Lion time, which is 20 minutes. The time it takes to get the boss rush in the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. I thought you stopped doing that. I'll never stop doing it, man. Boss rush is a good tactic. I'm banging out like 18 win streaks consistently. People are giving me shit for doing boss rush. Of course they are. Are you not right. supposed to go that fast? Well, oh, they're, they're like, well, you missed a couple bombs on the ground. You got a free <laughs> item out of a choice of four and won the game easily, but you didn't play perfectly on the way. Hmm. They'll be back next episode to let you know, though. I Honestly, I appreciate the feedback, but I think it's more exciting to just snag a free item. Well, yeah, item, item synergy is what that game's all about, man. That's my philosophy. It's reasonable. It's like the 2004-era New England Patriots versus the 2004-era Indianapolis Colts. I consider myself more of a Peyton Manning, you know, go for it on fourth down type of guy instead of the rigorous, you know, vice grip of Bill Belichick's defensive first strategy. <laughs> wow, is this the wrong demographic for that? <laughs> <laughs> I understand some of those words. <laughs> From your we'll picture, Roomba, I thought you played football when you were younger. I played for like one one season, and they didn't really let me play very much. <laughs> They're like, you can join the cheerleaders, though. Yeah. <laughs> Hard work. It's rude. Don't mock the cheerleaders. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just saying a Roomba was pretty is all. Jeez. Yeah, I'm just going to let that one hang there. <laughs> I'm like considering going to war again, and now I'm getting the mission. Hey, uh, why don't you let your manpower recover? Yeah, I have the same, well, I have the overextension one. It's like, you know, maybe I'll just do like a little war of conquest. <laughs> right. I love that one. That one is such a dumb mission. It's like, hey, how about you let your overextension go all the way from whatever it is, whether it's 5% or, you know, 400%, down to zero, and then yeah. we'll give you a level 3 diplomat, which you'll never huh. use. You'll well, ne now I'd, I'll, I'll just cancel it. You'll never hire him. <laughs> <laughs> it made me feel bad. You can't afford him, especially this early in the game. Yeah, it's not like it gives it to you for free. It's no, like, it will give you the opportunity yeah, to, to hire this guy. Which is un unaffordable. It's just a silly mission. I don't, I've, I've said it before, but I don't like the missions. My understanding of missions from talking to the guys at Paradox was that it's a holdover from the EU3 code to kind of make the AI do stuff. Like, mm. go attack this country because we're going to give you a free claim. You know, like, it used to be how they made it do stuff in EU3. They ported all that code over into EU4, and it's still here, but it's like, I don't like the missions. Well, I don't know. I've often said they're quite nice, actually, for new players. No, that's true, yeah. It, it guides your hand, especially in those first few years. When you literally, you just open it, you've got a giant map, you're like, I have no idea what to do. And then there's a mission of, like, save our blah blah people in wherever. It's like, oh, okay. All right, let's do that. Yeah, but yeah when I played Spain for the first time, it actually, or Castile, it helped me out a lot. Right, but be honest. You were just saying, "Hey, no offense, Mathis. I've got to insult you for twenty-five military points." So you're not <laughs> you're not using it at all like that. It's intended. You're using it to farm monarch points and like well, get free claims and stuff. But it also encourages drama. Like I sent an insult there, so it created a CB that someone might have used. Plus, it ruins relationships. Like you can do it. Like, but there's going to be a cost. There's an offset. Sometimes not. But your government is stupid and simple, and they're just like, appease us by doing this thing. I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll make you happy. You know, it's bread and circuses. I'd go for a sandwich. Oh, there we go, <laughs> Finlandia. Finlandia declares war. <laughs> <laughs> I got lucky, I think. Uh, good timing. A couple of their allies won't come in. None of mine will come in, but I think we can I'm avoid, like, true disaster. I'm surprised you still have allies, the way you've been treating everyone over there. I actually made them after my most recent War of Conquest. It's impressive. We're probably going to go to war against Arcasia soon. I think it's going to be time. Oh man, I didn't realize that Yao is like... Military tech level 8, but their military icon is a dude with a spear. <laughs> That's that what you go off of? You're like, oh, icon looks really primitive. Sometimes I'm like, well, I've got like a... Well, I guess I'm just a dude with a spear that has a helmet on, so I can't really be that snobby about it. What's really annoying to me is I got all prepped for this War of Circassia. I moved all my troops there, and basically just as they got the last tick of morale, 
my claim on one of the provinces expired, so I lost my CB. Oh, <laughs> so I like refabricate again. <laughs> I find that very irritating. Yeah, they're at war right now too. It's a good time to attack them. Yeah, they've got no manpower. They're like fourteen thousand dudes and three thousand manpower or something. Assuming I didn't look at the wrong country. No, yeah. So I should be able to flatten them. Even with the fact that one of my allies is going to join in on their side. Hmm. Come on, diplomat, go faster. Keta and Heine, that's it? That's all they have for allies right now? <clears throat> Don't want to do it. Oh my god. <laughs> you alright, man? Turning into Chewbacca there. I'm debating war right now. So, you know how we have levelized base tax? There yep. are three random provinces that are uncolonized that are not for base tax, and I don't know why. They are... There's actually a whole bunch of them down here in, in South America. Hmm. There's a... a Mapa... Bellum. Yeah. Bellum. Two base tax. Like, I don't understand why they're one. What happened? I wonder... You know what it might be? I bet this little Kasim guy... Can you guys see it in South America? Yeah. Sim. I bet he, when he's migrating, I bet he's ruining the base tax oh. in the provinces around him. Because if you look at the base tax map mode, economic map mode, you can see like a trail of <laughs> crap behind him. <laughs> behind all these little one province miners. They're doing it. They are. See, what's the economic map mode look like? Bottom, it's the very bottom right one in the list. Oh, there you go. And you can like see the dark Holy red. Shit. Yeah. They're migrating to, around and ruining the base tax. Like, when they leave, does it lower the base tax? Or do they get advanced? I've, n I've never really played a migratory tribe. Yeah, they, they, uh, they do. They, there's a penalty to wherever they leave. And an increase to the one they move to. We, we actually played oh, a, a migration one when, we first, when the first came out. Or line of yeah, I didn't watch it. Yeah, yeah, that was a weird one. <laughs> a weird one. I would have watched it. It was a weird one. It was fun. It was good. Oh, yeah, it was it was a weird one though. When the world unrandomized, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that and yeah, all that, of our provinces got, got you know centrifuge to like different parts of the world. That was that was weird. <laughs> it was mostly what I meant by it. And I'm so self-conscious about just zooming in and zooming out all the time. <laughs> now that Roomba calls me out for it every time. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's the dynamic view. You gotta do something. You're not wrong, though. Like, that is what I do. Alright, when are we doing fabricating? Oh, it doesn't give you a preview for that. That's interesting. All right, I thought the Reformation was going to be soon, but it's it's not seeming to want to happen. Damn. 97.4. Come on. Come on, game. I have no active cardinals. I have no interest in being Catholic. It's not working out for me. That's my problem. I play the Catholic game too well, it seems. So I, <laughs> I never want to convert over to Protestant. Like, but I got seven cardinals. I do think Catholic's really strong right now. I haven't played as reformed in a long time. Yeah, those buttons are cool. But now you've got buttons for Catholic too, so it's like that's true. They're not as nearly, nearly as good. Protestant. I, it'd be nice if you could actually see the information about them before, before they're available, just so you could kind of prepare. Yeah, but you can't click that convert button to even look. Yeah. You know, like if you hit change government, you can look at other government types. Mm-hmm. It's kind of what I'm thinking. You're picking up what I'm throwing down. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you like the video, make sure to slam that convert button. Yeah. Leave a comment. <laughs> they should do that. Uh, seriously, like do that Tweet every video. Does. <laughs> Start giant spam storms every time. They're just going to ban us from everything. <laughs> All right, Circasia. Let's do this. You see, if I had a, uh, a slightly better military leader, I could declare the statute in restraint of appeals and try to force the Reformation. Plus 1% reform desire. That's a lot. Yep. I, I want to do that, but I can't. Because my leader's got no military skill, because he's a dummy. 
but we have a re-election next year, so maybe, maybe I could do that. Ashanti has entered a military alliance with our enemy. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm allied with you. They're not going to exist in like 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, there we go. Come to daddy. July the 9th. All right, pop-ups, you're in my way. Yeah, 35. You got it. Is it you just me, it. or uh, is the game running slower now? Like it's not, been feeling a little, uh, a little, little framey for me for a while. Yeah, a little maybe their leader. Messed up. I blame yes. Quill. Could be. Computer's downloading too much pornography. You know how it is. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> you download your porn? What the hell? No, I buy magazines, scan them, upload it to the internet, then re-download it to make sure it's working okay. <laughs> ah. I'm gonna say you don't need to download it, you know. You just close the tab. <laughs> this has been a very informative video. You guys are gross. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Oh, Miami is still on Tech One. Or sorry, Tech Two. Those silly little people. Miamians. Oh, reform desire ninety nine point zero percent. Come on. I want that pop up so bad. I barely even understand the repercussions of this, but I'm along for the ride anyway. You gonna convert? I don't know. Maybe. I don't. I don't decide in advance to do anything. How many uh, cardinals do you have? Zero. Does the Pope like you? Um, I thought you were going to go another way with that line. Does the Pope something something? Shit in the woods? Because if the Pope doesn't like you and you don't have any cardinals, you should just abandon Catholicism. That's The, the Pope, yeah. he likes me okay. He's kind of nearby. I mean, you might end up attacking him at some point, so... It's definitely a possibility. It would be irresponsible of me to rule that out. What's everyone's score at? 169. Ooh, Mathis, oh. I'm sorry. Oh no. I have nine whole points. 194. Ooh, nice. I just went to 170. Yeah, you're catching up. I knew you would too. I'm at 250, so the gap is closing. Uh, it's getting there. I think I checked recently you were gaining more points monthly than me though. Mm, right now I'm getting 0. 0.865. Uh, yeah, I'm getting 0. 0.5. Okay. I just you got went to war with one of my rivals, so I'm hoping that will go and uh, give me a lot more power projection, too. Oh, you're leaving the little island over here. How nice. And getting 100% on Cardassia is going to be hard, but we'll do what we can. Yeah, my war enthusiasm is, like, is medium right now. Um... They've taken over half of my country. This is me role playing as Yao. Oh, they've okay. taken, <laughs> I was like, wow, over, you're having a hard time. <laughs> they've taken over half of my country, and I have no army, and they're about to take over all of my country. But I'd say I'm like, I'm 50 50 on this war. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I'm still hoping that maybe some kind of cataclysm will open up in my one remaining <laughs> province and wipe out their whole army. <laughs> if God is watching, as is known to happen. If you pray hard enough. Well, I'll tell you happen. what. We'll concede defeat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You won. Go home. It's like, ah, you got me. That's yep. a good one. All right. Well, we still think we're winning, but we'll concede if it'll make you stop. <laughs> Not going to do good. it. Corfu entered a military alliance with Hynot. I don't even know where Corfu is. I know Shaq Fu. <laughs> Who doesn't? It's true. That's, isn't that Keanu Reeves' line from The Matrix? I know Shaq Fu. <laughs> <laughs> I think you might be right. This should be a Kickstarter for Shaq Fu, too. Yeah? 
Absolutely. <laughs> These 20 minute episodes are going by quickly, man. I'm good. Yeah. You know, I'm good to go right now if everybody's good. All mm -hmm. right, all right. Well, yeah, if everybody's good to go, we can pause it and then yep. be on our merry way here. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. See you soon.